good morning good morning y'all there will be no montage today i'm kind of in a rush to get ready i have water all over my jacket from washing my face doing a little morning skincare these glow drops from barbara stern i don't really know if i like these or not my skin is not looking good at all like look at these under eyes gross <sighs> Y'all, I got this new set from Lulu. This is the Nomad color. I'm obsessed with it. It's so freaking cute. I love any sort of like taupey, muted earth tones. I also picked up that new Summer Fridays birthday cake lip butter balm. I'm wearing it now and it's just like, they say it has like a little pink shimmer. It's mostly just clear. I'm probably gonna use this with my pink lip liner, but it does smell really good. It doesn't taste like anything, but has that birthday cake scent. A little bit of these Drunk Elephant Bronzy Drops. Black Rose, I need to try this because it just gives your skin that healthy glow. It's kind of like a skin tint, like look at that. I look healthy, like I look like I've been outside. I have a lot of fun PR here that I cannot wait to unbox when I get back home. Like y'all, it's been coming in lately. And I, lately for the gym, I've been wearing this Kaoli Eden Sparkling Lychee. It's just so freaking cute. So I'm gonna put in a little bit of this. As always, I'm going to solid core this morning, but my little brother's actually coming with me. He went with me last week and he really liked it. So I paid for him to come this weekend. So I have to see if he's on his way because we're supposed to drive together. out of the shower i'm feeling real good <sighs> tonight i have dinner i literally can't wait to graduate because i'm thinking about how much schoolwork i have to do before i go out tonight i don't know if it's gonna get done because technically it's due tomorrow so like i don't really have to be rushing but i just like to get stuff done a little bit in advance lately i've kind of been abandoning my high-end stuff and using Naturium. I feel so good and clean. I use this Libre body lotion after the shower. Why do I smell so good? Y'all, like, I forgot how good Libre really was, and so I put on that lotion. So I guess that's what I'm gonna wear to dinner tonight, also. I did rip my nails off today. I don't know what got into me. Sometimes when one comes off, I just take all the rest off because I need it to uniform. I'm not gonna walk around with one missing nail. Syrah on Monique influence me and these are actually so good and they're just cute to have on like i would definitely go run a little errand in these or something what's going on here all right let's get into this pr unboxing on sent over one of their scents from their private collection which i'm super excited about because i don't own anything from guerlain a little no dear sierra we're thrilled to introduce you to tobacco honey and this stunning scent opposite the tract and swirling intensity blending golden honey and vibrant tobacco in a warm olfactive symphony i love any package that opens like this i think it just adds to the whole presentation i did read up on this a little bit on fragrantica it has like tonka beans some vanilla the honey in this is like a very resinous like rich deep dark honey kind of like the one in moon glory although i am getting like a little bit tom ford tobacco the knee vibes this is definitely like its sister it is very sweet it is 40 degrees out so i feel like this would be a nice little wear for tonight i also really really like this bottle i'm a huge stickler for details I love the bottle cap and it also has a B on the back. I have some fun things coming with Twisted Lily for Pisces season, so stay on the lookout for that. There will be maybe a little discount code. So to ring in Pisces season, they did send me a few of my picks. First up is Opus Cori from Wilhelm Parfumery. I only have one other scent from this house, which is Mango Skin. So it has that packaging that I like. This is a really pretty, like sparkling fruity floral. It has acai berry, Sicilian lemon, some violet, raspberry bloom. It is on the musk side this smells like the springtime just like fresh air fresh flowers lemon trees 
This is so pretty. It's like bubbly, fresh. In my head, I just think of drinking a cold glass of champagne after you just get out of a really good shower. I took it out of the sleeve, but this is Ode to Dullness from Juliet Has a Gun. This is their newest release. This is a very soft, cozy scent. There's some cashmere in, tonka bean. It's very just fluffy, comforting. It's like a hug in a bottle or like your favorite most worn in blanket. It's a little bit powdery. But overall, this is just like a comfort scent. It has some creamy sandalwood in there. So if you're a fan of like creamy, soft, sweet scents, this would be one that you'd really enjoy. Scent over is Venecstasy, which is a milky caramel coconut scent with some vanilla and sandalwood. This is not very vanilla forward. It's more caramel and coconut, and it kind of has a little bit of a honey vibe to it, but it is very milky, creamy, and sweet. I feel like this would be a great layering scent. I'm already envisioning this with Bianco Latte just because they are both very like milky scents. There's also some cedar wood in here to balance it out so it's not like ultra sweet, but this is really just like a caramel candy perfume, and I like it a lot. Parfums and Marley sent me a Valentine's Day gift, which is the sweetest thing ever. Literally though, because they sent me Oriana, which is their like gourmand scent. This is the pretty girl gourmand of all gourmands. They also sent a handwritten note wishing me a sweet Valentine's Day. And these candy hearts, like look at how cute this is. If you've been following me for some time, you know that Oriana is one of my favorite scents. My bottle's almost out and it's very beaten up, so I'm so excited to have this. This is very like Pisces coated. Like I feel like if a Pisces were a scent, it would be this. It's very fluffy, airy, sweet, and like daydreamy. I feel like this is the girl that's always like in La La Land, but she's really fun, outgoing, but also like soft-spoken. It is a very sweet scent, but it has some citrus to cut through all of that sticky sweetness, so it's not like a tooth rottingly sweet sort of perfume. There is whipped cream, marshmallow, bergamot, grapefruit, and also raspberry. So it's kind of candy-like. I love the color of this bottle. I love the bottle itself. The little tassels and the gemstone on the cap. Very excited about this. Thank you so much, Parfum Samarly. I'm really trying to make this quick, but next is After Sun from Vacation. Vacation makes the best summertime scents. It literally smells like they captured vacation in a bottle. I have their vacation scent, which is like a pina colada perfume with banana, a pool water note, a, a towel note. Like it's really interesting and it smells so freaking good. It literally smells like your poolside at a cabana. But this is their newest scent, After Sun, which is supposed to smell like After Sun aloe vera gel. It's very fresh, cooling. It has some gin, melon accord, cucumber, and a fresh linen note. I mostly get the melon and the aloe vera, and it's just a very refreshing scent. I cannot wait to take this with me next time I go somewhere hot. Then we have Ralph Lauren Romance Intense, which is their newest scent. Take a moment for this presentation, though. It's so cute. This is very, very floral. It's rose heavy. It has wild rose, sandalwood, cedar, and patchouli. I'm not trying to get kicked off the PR list, <laughs> but this leans very mature. Like, it's pretty, it's just not for me because I like sweeter things, but I mean, it's cute. It's a cute scent for somebody else. That's everything for now. I'm just gonna try to pick up around here a little bit because I have so much trash everywhere, like, yeah. And I need to figure out where to put all of these things because over time, space just runs out, like, and I'm over here dropping stuff, like the klutz that I am, but yeah, I need to do some of this schoolwork also before I go out to dinner tonight, so let's see if I even accomplish that. It's 7.30, which means it's time for me to start getting ready for dinner, so I'm doing my makeup real quick. I'm not doing anything special, except I did try a new foundation. This is the Lancome Karen Glow. I like to get ready a little bit in advance, so I'm not rushing. I have to be there by 9.15, so like I'll have just like an hour of time to chill. Black girls, we are breaking free from the brown lip liner shackles. I found a pink lip combo that I'm actually obsessed with. It's this Charlotte Tilbury 90s pink lip liner. Y'all, yeah. I thought I would only ever wear, you know what? Let me use this mirror. I thought I would only wear like brown lip liner and gloss, but this is so good. It gives freshly plumped lip, like fresh syringe. It's like a warm pink, so it doesn't look stupid. I try to get it like right on my lip line. These dogs are driving me nuts. Can y'all stop? Can y'all stop? I'm just gonna blend that in a little bit. And then on top, I either use the Fenty Lip Oil or any other like pinky shade. I'm gonna use this Summer Friday's Birthday Cake. Just a little shimmer. It's like a gold shimmer. It's so cute. I, I love this. Like, it's adorable. This is the cutest pink lip. So next time I'm in Sephora, Pick up the 90s pink lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. Too good. Ooh, y'all, I got my little pink lip. 
Okay, so I did change his outfit. I went for like a lighter look for tonight. The bodysuit of Skims. These jeans are from Abercrombie and I put my hair into a low bun because I just thought it was cuter. Jewelry is Ava Yerman, Cartier, Tiffany. Perfume of the night is YSL Libre Absolute Poutine. It smells so good, it smells like cold weather. I freaking love this. about getting ready because my hair is already done like the work is done for me the only thing is they are a little bit long for my liking I like really long braids and these are super long even when my hair is in a ponytail i got small boho knotless and i asked for a very light boho because i know that it gets tangled but i did get human hair and then i asked for it on the ends too and i mean it's cute but just a little too long but they did a really good job and these parts are so neat i took a few days off because i had to get my hair ready i had to get my hair done and my back was hurting so i'm back at it after three days off desperately need to do this so that i can be spring break ready i have some exciting news my pisces page for twisted lily is now live fellow Pisces I picked about six cents and I feel like really just embody the aura of a Pisces and just have major major Pisces vibes so they're all very sweet or airy or bubbly so if you're Pisces or if that just sounds like something you're into definitely click down below I have six different scents along with the samples linked in the article and let me know what y'all think it was really fun to work on I love writing and I just love talking and painting a picture and of course you can use Sierra 10 to save on anything site-wide there will be a steeper discount on the first week of March which I'll share when that comes out but yeah all right I am back home I'm showered makeup on although I hate these eyebrows I use a new brow gel and it looks so bad more all like package trash I'm wearing a matching skim set and then on top I'm just gonna put my line jacket because tonight is hump night it's pretty warm out here it's 80 degrees so I'm wearing biker shorts and I'm gonna put this brown sugar babes oil on my legs it smells so good it's like a pineapple marshmallow scent like just imagine candy pineapples it's so delectable it's supposed to be a dupe for the house of siage mini mouse the actual lotion that i put on is the original fenty skin body butter this stuff is so tea i ran out of my last cashmere mist i have got to stop spending 35 dollars on deodorant because i'm i know like target has to have something that's like comparable to that but it just works so well and it smells so good i'm just gonna wear oriana from parfum smartly because it kind of goes with this body oil and i'm tired of saving my stuff for like special occasions 
just completed my like graduation um, orientation sign up, which I'm so excited about because I'm so ready to get the heck out of undergrad. Like I'm ready to like move around, live life. And I transferred like twice, so it took me an extra year to graduate, but I'm honestly not mad at all. I don't really care that much. Like I really don't care. Um, all right, well, I was laying down for a long time and sort of like cheered my makeup off. So let me try to fix that real quick. My dog is always barking at something, something that doesn't matter. Like, I'm gonna put this jacket on and go to my lion sister's house to help her learn these strolls before hump night. And then we'll just chit chat when I get there. I'm at Jada's house and she tricked me into coming here so I can drive her to school. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Gonna go be with our sisters. Do we mama. <laughs> Oh, they look so sad. My pee-pee fires. Also in my car that you're using me for. Guys. Hi, Stuart's channel. Guess what? What? Nothing. Checked you. Y'all, the truth about AKA. Y'all need to do... Y'all need to do your research. When they tell you do your research, do your research. Do your research a little farther. Do your research the for like, research the chapter. What is the chapter like? What is the graph? But yeah, do your research guys, like, do your research. Are the members happy? Do you see them often? That's a very good point. If not, then do grad chapter. That's actually a really good point. But here we are, you and I. <laughs> Heading to hump night, and unfortunately, <laughs> I'm the only one that will be humping tonight. What? <laughs> she didn't like her name. She didn't like her name at first, but turns out it actually works perfectly. And then this is her butt. It's really large. Jada! Yeah. It is my butt. <laughs> means brunch. I am just finishing up getting ready. This is the place that I chose for my birthday brunch, but I've never actually had their brunch. So if it's not good, then I have enough time to like cancel and find another place. Just doing my lip combo really quickly. I feel like this set would have been cuter if it were in like a tan color, but this is just a little black and white set from Meshki that I just got. This Fenty lip oil is so tea. Like the applicator just feels so plush and it smells amazing. I feel like there's something missing from my makeup. It's probably a little bit of highlighter because my face is looking dull. I got my eyebrows done yesterday and I don't know how I feel. I feel like she had them really thin and I didn't, I told her to keep them as thick as possible, but somehow they ended up being these thin little things or maybe i'm just not used to like seeing my eyebrows done because i haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed in about a year okay that looks a lot better it is a beautiful 80 degree sunny day so i'm gonna wear opus Corey from wilhelm this is just like the perfect little daytime scent ignore the laundry chair in the background but this is the outfit i took my hair down because i just thought it made it look a little more youthful i'm actually going to link this outfit because why is it so adorable I'm about to put on the rest of my jewelry and then we'll get going. My grandma's actually coming with us today. I decided to do a little girls brunch with my mom and my grandma just because why not? I feel like this watch doesn't go. Might need something a little daintier. I'm gonna put on this itty bitty watch and it'll help tie in the gold and the silver that I have on. I'm dressed and ready to go. We got on the jewelry. All right, let's go eat.
My mom took me to go to a house and I've seen enough. So I'm just gonna do a little haul of what I got. Lululemon Larkspur Blue. Are you kidding me? I found the bra in store and just snagged it and I just ordered the leggings. But this color is unreal. I did that little color analysis test and it turns out that I'm a deep winter. I went to Sephora just to get my birthday gifts and I got the Kosas set that came with their airbrow laminating gel and then the lip oil, it's the wet lip oil. Let me show you the unbuttoned. Yeah, this is good. And then this brow gel. Ew, why is it like, like snail musiny? Ooh, wait, that's good stuff. I can't wait to wear this freaking set. But I'm gonna go get a massage tomorrow. I'm not working out. You know what? I'm gonna work out at home. I have a little food baby from everything we ate. Baby Sarah coming in November, November 2024. Honestly, my favorite part of going out was when I come back home and I can change into something comfy. As cute as this outfit was, I'm like dying to get out of it. I feel like tonight I'm gonna do a little self care because I'm about to do this like group project and there's nothing I hate more than working in a group because then I can't get things done on my time. Like I have to wait on other people. Can we get this done a little faster? Don't stick around, she say you say, 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 say,